remember what time the meeting is and it's really far back in your team's chat and you don't even recall what day it was, what year it was, you're like, I have no clue where this is in one of my chats. This thing that you can do, which is really cool that they added, is you can use this search bar, but now you can use it in a different way. You can actually use it specifically in certain chats and channels now. So let's say I want to search something in the chat that I have with Bobby, and it's something about um, a laptop. Okay, so all you'll have to do, if you have a Windows, you're going to try, you're going to click Control F, and it, Notice how it changes it and it says Bobby Guerra right here and then you type a word. So now it's going to type, a, when you type a word like laptop, which I'm not going to because who knows what private information is going to come up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but if you type a word like laptop or something like that, it'll show all of the texts that have to do with that word only in that specific chat with that person which is really cool because before it was broad. It was very broad and you couldn't specify it. So um, yeah, I believe for, um, for Max, it's gonna be Command F. Yes, Command F, but for Windows, it's Control F. And so you can also, again, like I said, you can do this in Teams channels as well. Um, so click on the specific channel that you want or specific chat and then press Control F and it will search. I did the search. Can I share what it looks like? Yes. It is. It is I have I have perused it for. You have perused it for. Yeah, it, it is sanitary. confidential information. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know about that one. You got me there. That was. Uh, <laughs> I got you here. Yeah, you got me. That was good. That's good. <laughs> You did yeah, your dad. Looks, you did your dad proud, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, so I did. In, I did the laptop search here, and it and it comes back with the different dates that you can kind of scroll through, and they all show up, and then, um, and you can just click on it, and when you do it, it takes you to the conversation. So yeah, kind of what right she's, to where you typed that. Mm -hmm. Right, and what she's specifically saying is is it's it's between me and her in this conversation. Yeah. If I just did laptop search, it's going to search everything in Teams. Just yes. if I didn't do the control F, which also could be good because how many times have you been like, where did I have that conversation with? And you're like, was it through <laughs> email? Was it through Teams? Was it through text? Did I have a conversation by the water cooler? I can't remember. If you try forcing everybody to have the communication through Teams, you can find the conversation so much easier yes. doing the appropriate searches. These are faster searches than Outlook, in my opinion, and I think they're more granular. Also, do not under, don't undersell the power of the Teams channels, mm -hmm. keeping those categorized. Like if you find yourself kind of going, man, you know, I keep having to refer back to this conversation that I had about onboarding of a new company that we're doing business with. Well, mm -hmm. why don't you just make a Teams channel for onboarding of new clients so that you know that if there's any conversation that has to deal with that, mm -hmm. that's where it's going to be. Yes. So if you have types of communication that you're having on a regular basis, just make a Teams channel and have everybody that's appropriate join it. And you can create, and we had a webinar about it, you can mm -hmm. create specific groups with security and have specific people only have access to that. So if right. it's a little more sensitive, it's still okay. Um, and they make that very easy to do. And if you need assistance with that, just put in a ticket and we can help you. It's very mm -hmm. simple. Uh, but it's what's nice about that is now you're starting to direct the communication into clusters and groups that makes it easier for you to find. And then when you add the search on top of it, it just makes it. Easier.